Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Outlaw Eco Builds How to Build Your Own Earth Bag House. If you've already seen episodes 1 and 2, you will know we've completed our foundations and stem walls. And today we're going to show you how to build these box forms, which are basically a wooden structure that's going to hold open the spaces in the building where you will eventually put your doors and windows. And then we're going to show you how to lay your earth bags. First up, I'm going to explain to you a few tools and things that you're going to need to complete this stage of the build, and then we're going to get on to building. Next up is the building and installation of your box forms. Any doors or windows which will be floor length or sit at floor level at the bottom need to go in now on top of those gravel filled earth bags. It's important to take into consideration a 5 to 10 centimeter space at the bottom of the door for your flooring material, but also 5 to 10 centimeters on either side of the doors just to give you a little extra space and make sure that your doors and windows will fit. It's also necessary to add 2 to 4 centimeters on the inside and outside of the box forms to ensure easy removal after you've finished constructing your earth bag walls. Your box forms need to be constructed of sturdy timber, but there's no need to spend a lot of money on this. It could be leftover wood from previous DIY projects, or in our case we use shuttering boards. The box forms need to be braced in the corners and built strong enough to not only sustain the impact of the tamper on the bags, but also the pressure exerted by the bags themselves. It's important to build up the courses, one bag on each side, at the same time simultaneously, so as not to push the box form one way or the other. On the same note, it's important to check after every course that you are going up in the direct line and not losing your level or plumb as you go. Don't underestimate the pressure that the bags are putting on your box forms. We built our box forms as open as possible to allow easy access to the inside of the build without climbing over the walls. But if this isn't a priority to you, it can also be that you use cinder blocks to hold open the doorways, which can be knocked out when you're finished. So here we have what we call our six stack bag filler. Traditionally with earth bag building, you would fill each bag in place on the wall uh, using some kind of tool to hold open the bag and some kind of bucket to pass up the earth a very small amount at a time. We decided that it would be more productive for us um, to fill six bags at a time using this contraption. This is Nick's design. Uh, you've basically got six pieces of 30 centimeter diameter pipe cut into pieces more or less uh, half the size of a bag as you can see it's just slightly over half the length of each bag so when each bag is placed over here uh, you can turn it over and fill six bags at a time and then lift off the tool and you have six filled bags the bags don't want to be filled all the way you need to leave some space at the top as you can see here it's gathered a little bit when the bag is placed over. This is leaving you enough space afterwards when you lay the bag to tuck the bag under in place uh, before you lay the next bag, as we showed you in the previous videos. There are a few important things to note when it comes to determining the quality of the earth that you will use for your earth bag house. Um, you want to use the subsoil. Um, this is gonna contain a mixture of stones, sand, gravel, silt, and clay. Uh, but don't take the topsoil, anything with compost, plant matter or roots is not going to be suitable for your earth bag house. Equally, the deeper soil with any kind of big rocks is also not going to work. 
Ideally, the perfect soil for an earth bag house would be three to four parts sand and one part clay, but you can amend this. If there is more clay, you can add sand to your mix, and if there is less, you can add more. It's important to remove any stones larger than the size of the golf ball as you go when you're filling the bags. And you're going to need to consider now the water content of the earth that you're using to build your earth bag house. This is going to depend on the earth that you've got there on your particular site and how you've amended it. So I would suggest making a test bag or several test bags with different water contents to see how they tamper and also how they dry. Uh, too wet and the bags are going to slide and not tamper well and too dry and they're not going to stick together and form a solid mass. All earth is unique and behaves differently from each other. Each soil also behaves differently when prepared with different amounts of water. So this is going to be up to you to experiment with that. I would recommend starting with dry soil and, and you can always add more water as you go. Now you know how to build your box forms and how to fill your earth bags. Uh, stick around for the next episode where we're going to show you how to lay the earth bags and how to use the barbed wire for your velcro mortar.